Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition for over 70 years. Today, we'll be demonstrating the installation of our Load Lifter 5000 air spring kit on a Toyota Tacoma. Installation may take up to two and a half hours to complete using common mechanics tools. Remember, this video does not replace your installation guide, so grab yours out of the box and let's get started. Remove the rear wheels. Trim the top off the stock jounce bumper about three quarters up from the base using a box cutter or equivalent. Remove the three bolts located on top of the left side of the frame above the axle that hold the brake line and a wiring harness and set the hardware aside for reuse later. Install the inner frame braces onto the inside of the frame rail using the half inch hex cap screw and large flat washer. Insert the screw and washer through the brace, then through the large hole in the side of the frame above the axle. From the outside of the frame, install another large washer and half-inch nylon lock nut over the hex cap screw. Draw the nut down, but do not tighten yet. The inner frame brace must be able to move for the upper bracket to align correctly. Let's assemble the air springs. Set a roll plate over the top of the air spring. Install the swivel fitting into the air port on the air spring. Tighten the fitting one and a half turns past finger tight. Insert the 3 8 inch carriage bolts through the bottom of the upper brackets. Then set the brackets onto both air springs, ensuring the welded on spacer is facing up. Attach with the 3 8 inch flathead screws. Torque the flathead screws to no more than 20 pound feet. Once complete, there is now a left and right side assembly. Flip the left side assembly upside down, being careful not to damage the fitting. Set a roll plate and the lower bracket onto the air spring, ensuring the flat edge of the bracket is on the same side as the carriage bolt on top. Make sure to use the left-hand side mounting holes in the lower bracket. Attach the lower bracket to the air spring with the 3 8 inch flathead screws and torque to no more than 20 pound-feet. Repeat for the right-hand side, but use the right-hand side mounting holes in the lower bracket. With the axle dropped, set the left and right-hand assemblies onto the leaf spring, ensuring the fitting and the carriage bolt is facing outward. The fitting should be to the back of the axle and on the outside of the frame. Once both assemblies are in place, raise the axle up so the upper bracket touches the frame. Install the U-bolts under the leaf spring and up through the lower bracket. Cap with 3 8 inch flat washers and nylon lock nuts Leave loose at this time. Set the clamp bar over the carriage bolt, ensuring that the short edge fits over the stock jounce bumper strike plate bracket on the frame. Ensure the tab on the clamp bar inserts into the small slot on the upper bracket. Cap with a 3 8 inch flat washer and nylon lock nut finger tight only at this time. On the inside of the frame, insert two 3 8 inch carriage bolts up through the bottom of the upper bracket and through the inner brace. Cap the bolts with two 3 8 inch flat washers and nylon lock nuts. Snug the outer clamp bar carriage bolt while ensuring that the upper bracket is set against the stock jounce bumper bracket. Torque the half inch bolt on the inner frame brace to 35 pound feet. Finish by torquing the 3 8 inch upper nylon lock nuts to 16 pound feet. Evenly torque the exposed lower bracket U-bolts to 16 pound-feet. Make sure all other hardware is tightened to the torque specs listed in the installation guide. Set the three pin spacers under the brake line and wiring harness brackets where the three stock bolts were removed earlier. Reinstall the bolts and tighten securely. To install the air lines, begin by choosing locations for the Schrader valves and install those first. See the installation manual for detailed information. The nylon air lines are routed from the Schrader valves to the air springs. It is recommended that the air line be routed along the top of the frame and then down to the fitting. Cut to length, making clean square cuts with a razor blade or hose cutter. After cutting the air line to length, insert it into the fitting. Install the wheels back onto the vehicle properly and torque the wheel nuts to factory specifications. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com.
and our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop. Thank you.